Hello City Wars and welcome to a new update. Update 13 this week. 13? Yes. That's some spooky We're number. We're going places. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Great. So this week we have the update that is going to be one day sooner because we won't be uh, available tomorrow. So we try to pack everything <laughs> for... Yes. <laughs> so let, let's hope you guys will appreciate what we got for you because we got something very, very special for this week. Uh, how, how do we call it? The, the village? The village update. It's quite early access, but uh, I think uh, many players would be very happy to hear about this because they have been asking this a lot. Yes, and I like it's, you say early access because yes. this is going to be a very experimental feature. So if you guys experiment some very trouble with them, uh, report them, we are going to uh, fix it. Also, it's kind of in the name of the game, so it's kind of an important feature yes, in the future. So. It is. So, first of all, in Sulbert, you can now purchase a house, but it's not a house, it's a village that you can purchase. It's your first village. Yeah, that's the goal. So I already purchased it, so you won't see the menu. But when you enter here, what you have, instead of having just a house where you can decorate, you have an entire village that you can decorate. So... It's brand new, uh, brand uh, all empty right now. But you see, you have many plots where you can build your house. We will show you how it works in a second. Yes. You will be able to do many things. You can lock the door. So yes, little detail that you protect we add. against intruders <laughs> in your house. It won't prevent people flying or anything, but it does help a little bit. So only the host of the game can uh, lock the door. So have fun with that. If it it's works, a cute feature. yeah, it's a very cute feature. So you can present your friend and <laughs> lock them outside if you want. Uh, so this very special thing about the house is it's kind of a simile. Uh, regular level, a sandbox level, and where you can build house inside a house. So let me show you first. But, well, you can build house inside your village. Yes. This is your yeah, village. I, mean, I call it the house, but it's it is a village. Okay, so but for <laughs> me, it's a house. As a developer, <laughs> I see it as a house exactly, but it is a village. So you like confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so. Uh, the first village you unlock is in Solberg, and as you can see, uh, what Dark said is in Solberg, your, your village has a special feature, which is you can build new home. Yes, new home. You can yeah, build. Yeah. There is a new category inside the house tab, uh, village home. So if you purchased with the woodland house, you can build it now inside your village. Yeah, if you don't see the woodland house, it means you never purchase the, the yes. woodland house. So, so let's you will only the, have the crypt, the, the crypt one. Solberg one. Solberg one, yeah. So let's build the woodland one, and what it does, it is going to create a house where you can enter. And inside this house, it is the entire house that you can decorate. So it is exactly like the house. It is similar no, to the... Yeah, yeah I, I made some change. Yeah, but it is uh, very similar. It's better. It is better. So you can decorate the entire area exactly like woodland. But the very special thing about this, since you build it inside the village, is that your friend can come with you and they can build their very own house. They can you could, emanate You can them. place a thing in front of his house. Yes. and said oh this is your house and like i say you can build as many as you want try to not crash a server <laughs> or anything <laughs> but we are going to keep an eye on this but uh, as you can see right now i'm going to build the solver house so at the moment we have two house we are going to implement uh, more of them so you, you see here yes later on we are the noble wood one the Oak town falberg and each of them are uh, very unique and very special. So, ta -da. so you and just maybe later on we can have level two house and everything. So you will have a more bigger, bigger one. Yes. Oh, that could be nice. That could be nice. That would be a hell of a system to develop as a developer. But I assume it will be a very nice one. 
so yeah as you can see we placed a lot of empty space so if you guys want to have your friend uh, all inside your house all inside your village you can uh, just give them the house that you want and a very special thing too that we place we know the yes. sandbox map was very very popular people like it to have test them so for the village we decide to just why not put another sandbox map into it so inside the uh, the village you can select the rat spawner uh, and spawn uh, many uh, monsters from it and you can test the area also friend. the sandbox spawner has been updated so we fixed a few bugs on it so yes. it's even better now it is even better there was some uh, issue i think it's not 100 percent fixed so just, just to make sure, but it is, yeah, it is a bit better. better. <laughs> when we done this one for this map, we figure out there was some issue. So let's hope it do a, a much, much better job than what it was doing. So yeah, you got a very cool uh, map. We took uh, one of the creation of Kate and I Frankenstein it to uh, make it uh, available inside as well. So thank you, Kate. <laughs> she, she didn't know we built this one, because, <laughs> <laughs> but now it is available. So. Great. Uh, so that is for the village. I think I will let people experiment with this. I think it, it can be a very cool feature. It is an experimental one, but I think it is a very cool feature. Yes. Uh, let's try explain maybe the lumberjack. So another update that we done is, uh, which I think it's all down the worst place that the lumberjack was going. So there you go. Oh, by the way, I got some um, some uh, orn on my character because I stuck it this way. <laughs> we were testing stuff and I just uh, keep it that way. So I'm going to change it uh, another time. It's demon dark now. Yeah, it's demon dark. It's uh, no choice. <laughs> but, okay. So one thing that we had uh, past week and I did try the game. I play uh, the weekend with... Uh, my girlfriend will play the game and I we, we enter enter a problem where the lumberjack something is very 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 stupid when the lumberjack mm -hmm. is walk working on Newlandia or uh, Newlandia Noblewood it is quite efficient and it do the job that it's supposed to do but, but when you enter it's yeah, a disaster oh, oh, it's a total disaster I really ate I was like who cut this thing is it is impossible to play so uh, we spent, that took a very long time this week, we take the lumberjack, we scatter every part of it, we figure out what was wrong uh, with the with the system, and what we found is that the lumberjack, when it was doing, is system of pathfinding. So the reason why it buzz more into Old Town is when you reach a place like Noblewood or Newlandia, the resources are a little bit more scattered together. And when you reach Oak Town, you always have some stuff like this. You have this tree and it is encircled with branch around it. Okay? You have this tree, it is encircled with branch around it. And what it does and what the problem was is that the NPC was reaching his destination, calculating his pathfinding, and when it was near the area, it was not able to reach the uh, the block in question okay and i made a quick uh, photoshop to explain a little bit more the uh, the system okay so we have this grid here and it's important to understand that inside city wars most of the object most of the block are in a collision of one by one so you have this block here that is the collision of your object but the thing is very special is that you can rotate the object so by example if you have a tree that is rotated okay this tree now it is still a one by one block, but the difference is that now this object is not uh, in contact with himself only. It is in contact with different blocks. The corner right. not touch other blocks. Exactly, the corner are going to affect how the NPC is going to be able to uh, reach this object. So now the NPC is not capable to reach this block anymore because for him, this uh, this block is occupied by this one here okay so that's why when you rotated your block in survival you had a, a cross uh a cross on your time yes <coughs> i i don't think i have the uh, update right now so if i go into the no, uh soon i lose the game 
golden dome. So if you check here and you rotate this uh, cross, you see that you have this problem. And it was a behavior that it was intended. It means like the block yeah. is on the right. So we, we made it, we programmed it this way. Uh, but we see a lot of new uh, ink player playing the game and without realizing accidentally, they were, uh, yeah, accidentally the flipping the, the, the object and then trying to place them side by side but they were not capable to do it because these objects were not on the side so what we've done we keep the system the system is still there uh, but what we've done is that if the object is smaller than one by one we will ignore the uh, rotation so it is going to to just flip back to what it is supposed to be and it's going to in the background yeah, exactly in the background you will see it rotated you will see but the programmation and the way the the, the, the npc is going to calculate the pathfinding is going to see it exactly like that so we did some tests we did many tests and from what we see i think it fixed most of the problem of the number jack so i don't want to uh, stay a victory yes. or anything because every time we do that we <laughs> we got a punch in the next week like no the problem is true but from what we test and i test heavily the uh, npc it seemed to have fixed the problem so right now your lumberjack will be a lot more it's a lot uh, smart better. yeah it, it is a lot more better i test it and it feel a lot better so again guys give us feedback all the week if you see that the lumberjack feel a bit more intelligent and everything so when you add this scenario here just like this it was a very very difficult one for the npc so now it is super easy npc goes straight to the the, uh, the tree and it can just uh, do what it has to do let's give it a try in general when we try to record every time <laughs> something fails so it's time to see if it works go Aaron. you can do it you see that Aaron just did it. Nice work, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see that the the tree just was placed. Uh, so that specific tree had uh, a lot of problems yes. with uh, the setting inside it. So we fixed uh, some most of it. Yeah, there was a lot of tree that has these very weird rotation and everything. So we we pass a lot of like I said, we spend a bunch of time into fixing this particular problem. It, it's not a big update. It is not the a big implementation or new content but i think it was a very important one to fix <laughs> okay so maybe i can talk also the next update. okay i don't have the <laughs> new update sadly link is building <laughs> the client on, so, on this <laughs> pc uh, but as you can see right now on the uh on the lumber camp we now have a sign on the top okay. so what it does is now that each uh, each house in the game will have a little sign over it. So on the sign, you will see the icon of the resource that it can gather. And the name. And the name. So the advantage that you will see is that right now inside this uh, menu. menu, it is very difficult to see which of the house are which one. Okay. So you see that in normal, normally you can see the, the log on the right of the house, you can see the click, but inside the menu, it is almost invisible to see because we have this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, the number. Number. Uh, uh, the but, uh, number you can craft. Yeah, the number you can craft. So you have the number that you can craft over the icon of the object. So it is, personally, if I don't know that the number cam is the first one, I got no idea which one is. Yeah, one. you need to click on it and see on the map. So I don't have it on my version. In the build that is going, you will see this little... Uh, uh, wood on the top of the lumber cam. You will see this clay on the top of the clay. So I hope it will very help uh, new people to understand the difference between each house. It is, it is important to understand that when we begin with the house system, we only have one house. There was the lumber cam yeah. and slowly we are adding more and more and more uh, resource. So <laughs> it started to get a lot of house. And lucky for us, we made some update where we change the house depending of the uh, beyond, your beyond of your unlock so <coughs> yeah like the Solberg one is very nice yeah it is I've did a very good job so hello Maurice Maurice, Maurice. okay uh, what else that we have we have the uh, village we have the, the chicken. chicken yes okay well, so, you don't have it too. I don't have it no okay so i cannot show it but on the new version that we have the chicken can equip equipment the sheep 
you can equip equipment and the which one else? the rabbit the right rabbit. so you can now equip helmet and uh, also air and everything everything your character has most of it can be on the chicken um, the sheep and the rabbit I didn't <coughs> put the uh, backpack yet probably that will be very yeah. awesome to have the backpack so we are going to take a look at this later but the goal was to just have on the the, the chicken uh, helmet uh, the sheep also have the helmet so that is for incoming update <laughs> that, is, that is going we have been working like i think a full month on it uh, yeah so, a, long <laughs> a long time so i don't want to reveal too much but i will try to just maybe tease a little bit we have some uh, a new class that is coming which will be the ranger and the ranger is going to be able to uh how do you call it make allies make yes uh, make uh, you will be able to befriend the wild uh, animals around you yeah exactly <laughs> so you will be able to uh, befriend by example the sheep and the stronger you will be the stronger your sheep will be so that's how the uh, the animal are going to have very cool uh, setup and everything it's a very nice class Yes, Garpy worked very hard on it, so I can't wait to see it. I can wa I can wait to see all the <laughs> work that we are doing to be able to finally be online. So uh, that is for the village, the lumberjack, uh, and the weekly challenge. Weekly challenge, you are right. Okay. This so, week you will need to. I don't think I have show the weekly challenge. Inner builder. I don't think I have the weekly challenge. It's on in that. the. Uh, it was added and it was no, not added the command. No. Yes, I fixed the command on the call. You you did? Yes. Where is it? Let me try uh, one. You say you fixed it? Oh, no. 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 I didn't add the point shop inside this one yet. Mm -hmm. But spawn yourself uh, if you go oh, yeah, creative can, yeah, and you it. search uh, star shop, you will be able to we see. Find it. There that works too. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So, the weekly challenge of this week is... And I know many people... <laughs> just, we are very impressed when we see the screenshot. We egg see, building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people call it egg building. And this is the challenge of this week. We cannot check what kind of stuff we are you are going to build with it. But we encourage you to post your creation in the screenshot channel of our Discord. Uh, I would love to see what you can guys can build about it. Yeah, maybe we can give uh, some very special stuff for the person that built the very uh, most eccentric or most beautiful structure yeah. with it. So, egg builder, get your eggs because <laughs> this week's challenge is the egg challenge. So, you have to place 100 eggs. I know you guys probably place way more than that when you build, but let's keep it a bit realistic for people who are <laughs> beginning in the eggs construction. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I very hope to see uh, a lot of your construction. It is always so funny to, <laughs> to see everything. So great so yeah like i said this week we uh we were very stuck on the uh lumberjack uh but Despite finding issue yeah it, it was a very annoying one and difficult one to fix but i hope it do improve a lot of the, the game about it. especially if you are into uptown so if you are stuck in yes. uptown right now it is going to be a game changer for you mm -hmm. great so can't wait have... to see what you uh, are able to build inside your own village. Finally, yes. you will yes. be able to build your city together. So definitely. So have fun and see you next week. Take care, guys. Thanks. Have a good...